Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at merge sort in a linked list. Now, uh, if you don't know what a linked list is, I would recommend that you go to the uh, video in the description and see what a linked list is. I, it's a video I've made a few months ago, and also there's a link for a merge sort with an array, and you can see those bo bo both of those videos, and then come back here to uh, see this advanced concept of uh, merge sort with a linked list. Um, now sorting a linked list is not very easy, it's, it's very complicated. Basically a random access to every element is not permitted. So if you want to go to the element number 5, you have to go through 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. Or you can start from 0 if you like that. Um, also uh, the only two algorithms which I can implement in for a linked list is insertion sort and uh, merge sort. So merge sort is what we can do over here. Uh, maybe I'll cover different algorithms in the future, but now let's concentrate on the merge sort. So here is the linked list which I've made. Um, also, I wanted to go through a few prerequisites. That is, um, we have type def struct node star node pointer. If you know what type def is, you would understand that a uh, node pointer over here, wherever you see node pointer, will be replaced by struct node star by the compiler. So. Um, wherever you see node pointer just replace it by this particular value not literally i mean it, in your head imagine that it is being replaced by it don't actually replace it because this program works trust me it does okay so a uh, struct node in data node pointer next if you know a linked list you will understand that this is our node which we are going to use for this tutorial um, next i'm i have this node ptr node pointer global head now global head is basically uh, the pointer which points to the head of our linked list and um, this particular value over here, head, node pointer head, this does not, and I repeat, this does not point to the head of our linked list. This points to the um, element before which we need to place the next element. You'll understand if you see the code what I'm saying. Uh, it's kind of convoluted right now, but just understand that this en enables us to push uh, an element inside the linked list in constant time and I'll get to that later if you want me to but uh, for now let's just concentrate on the on the merge sort and not the linked list so here I'm printing the list and uh, let's just see what the list printed looks like uh, I print the list over here 4, 3, 1, 5 and 7 it is correct it prints exactly like that and uh, yeah after that I go ahead and uh, I call the merge sort function and I pass in ampersand global header. So why am I passing in ampersand global header? Now if you have studied any kind of C or C++, you would understand that this is a value being passed by reference and a value being passed by reference uh, is basically important in the sense that uh, you don't need to return any value back in order to make changes to whatever elements you have in your current function. What I mean by that is if I add this ampersand and I pass this value in the function, if I go to merge sort right now, where is merge sort? Okay, merge sort over here. If I go to merge sort right now, I can see that this element, the star source, is referencing ampersand global. So whatever changes I make to star source, all those changes are reflected in global head. And I don't need to return any value in order to make those changes. Um, so you can imagine that whatever changes you make to ampersand global or global head, all of those changes are represented or reflected by the changes made to star source. So don't imagine this as being two different elements, star and source. Imagine this as being one complete element and deal with that in that manner. As you can see, I have uh, I've never used source on its own. I have always used star source because that is how you need to use it. Just remember that this is reflecting the changes which are happening in ampersand global. So whatever changes you make to star source are made to ampersand global. I'm not going to repeat that again. Okay, let's go forward. So then you have node PTR. So I'm basically assigning head to amper to star source, which is kind of weird because um, yeah, you understand what I'm do why I'm doing this because also I'm calling these over here so you'd understand once I get to that part. Um, okay, so node pointer head is equal to star source. Then I say node pointer A is equal to null and node pointer B is equal to null. Now we have if head is equal to equal to null and uh, sorry or head of next is equal to equal to null return. Now what, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because 
or this is my base case I'm checking if my head is null if it is null then there is no point in going forward if head of next is null then there is nothing to go forward to so I'm returning okay yeah partition partition I'm passing in the head I'm giving the ampersand values of a and the ampersand values of b that is the addresses of a and the addresses of b to the function so whatever uh, changes will be made to a and b in the partition will be reflected to a and b over here so yeah that's what it means exactly so let's go to the partition function the partition function is up top uh, okay void partition node pointer head this points to the head of the linked list which you're referring right now not the global head okay this is not the global head this is just the head you understand why a node pointer star front this is uh, ampersand a and this is ampersand b i have uh, renamed them as star front and star back uh, to you know easily understand what, what am i doing here so in order to understand what partition is doing let's go to the slides okay so hey guys uh, now we are going to split our uh, link list into two parts as you know in merge sort we have to partition the array continuously until we get down to single elements and um, in the link list that's particularly difficult because we cannot access elements randomly and we have to iterate through each element one after the other and uh, get to the element which we need to go to so how do we do it over here so now there are two methods which i can think of the first method is you go through the entire link list and count the number of um, nodes you have and once you get those uh, that amount you divide it by two and you get an index and you iterate from the start to that index in the link list uh, also going through each element before it and um, yeah and you split it from that particular element but that is particularly lengthy and it it is very costly in order to implement it in you know constant time or whatever in whatever time you wanted to implement it so uh, a better method which i think is this one which uses two pointers uh, maybe some on the memory but it gets the job done faster and efficient or if that's a word so how do we do this exactly so we have the slow pointer which points to the first element and we have the fast pointer which points to the next element from the first element if you understand what i said so you have the fast pointer which they are fast and slow because i named them such so you can imagine why i named them once you understand the concept so um so the slow pointer is pointing to the first node and the fast pointer is pointing to the second node just imagine that and let's move forward so the first uh, condition is if this value is not null the fast pointer will be incremented by one and if this value is not null both the pointers will move by one now similarly this entire process is repeated again if this value is not null the fast pointer will move by one and this value is not null the fast pointer will move by one again now this value is null obviously there is nothing to point to so uh, yeah your slow pointer points to the center of the linked list and if you don't think that is amazing then you have no emotion so uh, this is pretty awesome and it gets us the uh, answer which we want to get to so um, yeah how do we now partition this uh, particular array we partition it from here from from the middle but the middle has an element so you do it from after the element um, also you might imagine that if you have a linked list with even number of numbers then this will be sorted particularly easily because you know like you have two elements over here two elements over here or whatever but now that you have odd numbered linked lists uh, the, the number of elements in a linked list are odd so the one element which is left will be attached to the left partition and not the right partition so remember that when you're programming this um, always this particular element will be going to the left and not the right even if it go, goes to the right it doesn't really matter but convention says it should go to the left so it should go to the left okay so so then after this particular iter uh, phenomenon has happened how do you exactly get the resultant um, arrays what you do is you assign a uh, front and back as two particular pointers the front is the a pointer the ampersand a remember that and the b is the ampersand b the back pointer so front and back ampersand a ampersand b and if you can see the definition of the partition functions you'll see that front and back are, are represented over there so front is the left linked list and back is the right linked list 
And so uh, you can imagine the same process happening for this particular element, or th this particular linked list, and the same process happening for this particular linked list until you get a, you know, an array of linked lists, like a like a tree of linked lists, which is just you know there. Okay, so um, yeah, you can recursively iterate through these elements and partition them, and these elements partition them. But I don't want, I, I don't think I should do that because it's just it's it's very simple actually. Um, then I just wanted to say like how would you do it for two elements give an example just split them and that's how it works so the front will point to this and the back will point to this this is ampersand a ampersand b and so on and so forth uh, you can even imagine it like this like th this is what we have four three one five and seven and this is being combined and we'll, we'll get to this later let's go back to the partition and the partition function and see how the code runs like 